All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's Wednesday, the 29th of January, 2020. Good to see you. Good morning, Maria. Good to see you, Lawrence, Chuck, David, Phil, Bali. Good to see you all. Hope everybody is all excited. A lot of great news came out this morning. A lot of good earnings came out. I think this is going to be one of the most unique days of my trading career, being here in the way of, I think I'm going to start trading some brand name stocks. What do you say? Listen, we've killed it with a lot of the... Uh, uh, all the coronavirus stocks, all those pharmaceutical stocks are doing good. Some of them are still pretty doing deal decent. Listen, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm still, I'm still in. I'm still in those pharmaceutical stocks. Okay, let me tell you, because I don't know if you heard last night, but they're thinking about doing a travel ban on China. Could you imagine doing a travel ban on China? Listen, it's obviously a lot worse than what it is. I mean, I, I've seen some of these viruses uh, that they talked about, and. Uh, if you ever watched the movie ba uh, Outbreak with Dustin Hoffman, I talk about it all the time. It could be it looks pretty damn serious. So anyway, uh, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with the with the drug stocks. That's right, Ken. But they, you know they, they're teeter tottering right now. They're every little teeter tottering. They're doing the best they can. But anyway, a lot of great earnings came out. Obviously, you know what's going on with Boeing. You see what's going on with GE. GE is just breaking all all time highs right here. Listen, GE does a lot of catching up to do. GE was a $30, $40 stock at one point. This thing was down at $8 not too long ago. So it's starting to become a more of a swing trade. Uh, day trading, I would be a little cautious. This stock trades a ridiculous amount of shares. But so when it comes to iceberg orders, be very, very careful. But I'm in the trade. Um, you know, the stock's been doing great since 8 o'clock this morning. I'm not making a killing on it, but it's it's doing it's doing okay. So uh, we're going to keep an eye on it. But let's talk about what happened yesterday before we actually get into some of the fun stocks. Uh, let's start with NH from yesterday. And let me bring this up. This was a really cool runner yesterday. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so this stock literally ran from $1.60 all the way to two seventy. Another 100% mover right there in NH. She had a couple of nasty shakes. We all know about that. You could see how she, you know, around like 10:30, she backed off and then went, you know, went from like 220 and back down to buck 90 and shot back up. But she had good Fausto flags. She was breaking the higher highs. Everything that we teach you in class. So that one worked out pretty well. I and O. Okay. You know what? I'm so ticked off that my broker wouldn't let me short the stock. But I and O. You know, once again, this is a copycat Tesla of China. We know all the China stocks are getting crushed right now. So you can see that the stock took a big, big hit, and uh, some of you were fortunate to get to short. I was not. You know, this is what happens, why it's so important to have different brokers to do different things. Uh, another good one, SABA was another nice little mover. You know, unfortunately, some of these stocks were in the middle of the day, and you know that, you know, in the, we did the morning meeting, we did the morning class and, you know, the, uh, the trading room, you know, phase three, and it really wasn't that much going on. You had to catch these little quick little winners, and that's it. But other than that, uh, these things really ran like more in the middle of the day. This one ran from 740 to 960. That one did awesome. Now, regarding about all the earnings, you got AMD had earnings that came out. So AMD, eh, a little bit both, you know, not, not too crazy. Apple, just busting, uh, busting out everywhere. Apple's doing great. All-time highs. You know, she gapped up pretty big, and then she came back down. I don't know what's up with that, but she's holding here pretty strong. Apple's doing really uh, well. eBay. Also came out with earnings. I told you, big earnings week. Uh, obviously, earnings didn't do too well on that one. Kind of backed off right there. Starbucks. You know, Starbucks, uh, you could see 94 down to 88. That one obviously took a big hit. Once again, this stock, um, LK, we've been trading LK. This is also a copycat of Starbucks, uh, another Chinese. It's so funny how Chinese the Chinese are copying. You know, not only they, they intellectual... Uh, uh, Technology to be taken away from us, but they're also copying our, our stores. And uh, you can see they did they do pretty good. You know, uh, if it's the car stocks, if it's you know uh, Alibaba, all of them. So, they, but they're taking a big hit with that whole thing. So, uh, the, you know, we'll keep an eye on them because at the end of the day, we are making money and they're doing pretty well. Uh, also, I forgot to mention uh, T. Also, this morning we got a couple of earnings announcements. So T actually had some eighteen T had some good uh, had earnings that really didn't really do that much but uh, the but the big one is GE and and Boeing all right so I got those two stocks on my watch list now unfortunately you know when we're talking about Boeing it's expensive okay Boeing uh, is taking a massive massive haircut regarding about that max jet 
And, you know, as a swing trader, I'm a fan of Boeing. And you know what? This could be an opportunity because I think once this company gets this whole thing squared out, I was watching some analysts on TV talking about Boeing. And you know what? This stock could be a $400 stock if they get this thing figured out immediately. Now, once again, it's expensive. It's not what we trade here. It's not a day trading stock. But do we just day trade? No, we do some swing trades. Some of you guys do some investment. I do it all the time. You know, hey, how's the um, um, CSQ doing for everybody, huh? Not too shabby, right? CSQ, we're doing great. Been having that for about two, three years. Pays me eight and a half percent every year. Every month I get eight. I, I, I get, I get my, I, I get my dividend check. How great is that one? But you know, listen, that's how you become a good trader. You got to be very diversified. So anyway, those stocks are doing pretty well. Now there are a couple of stocks that are moving this morning. I want to get ready because we've got about 15 minutes, and I want to get ready for my class. We got the GN um, PX. You could, you could see that that is the biggest percentage gainer so far. Cheap little stock up 23%. You got some huge iceberg orders out there. You can see 26,000, 10,000. So it's kind of having a tough time breaking that resistance. You know, it, it did back off a little bit, a little cheap little stock. That one's got a good move. AGRX, put this one on your watch list. This stock is breaking all time highs. You can see that one was a 50 cent stock, ran to $3, $3.90. But it's going up nice and slow and steady. Did great yesterday and it's gapping up again today. That one's going to go back on the watch list. I just want to talk about um, one other stock. I've got to mention this up. This one, this is, listen, this is why you become a day trader, okay? Look what happened to stock. I had some students tell me, hey, Fausto, what do you think's happening with this MMLP? And then uh, it was like about a week ago. And then sure enough, I'm like, well, I don't know. It keeps trending down and it's hitting resistance levels of October. It's breaking a lower low every day. Well, guess what? He woke up this morning. I don't know. You know, I feel bad. I haven't heard from him, but. You know, because he, he wanted to be a student, but he thought that, you know, he could probably figure it out on his own. And I told him, I says, guy, be careful of the stock. You know what I mean? Breaking lower lows. He's like, what does that mean? He goes, well, listen, you got to learn how to, I got to teach you how to do it. But sure enough, here he's waking up a stock down over 29%. And how we would have known that? Because it broke lower lows every day. And then you wake up and that's how you get a gap down. And that's how you get crushed and you lose everything. So, you know what? I just want to bring that up. That's why I hate overnight positions. So we got GE, we got Lee. Also, yes, um, Ken, I, I saw that stock. Lee, that was my last one on my list. Lee did pretty, oh, look, you made 24 cents on uh, on 2,000 shares. There you go. There you go, Ken. I'll take that any day, especially in pre-market. Give him a round of applause. Look at that beautiful stock going up. Yeah, that was my, uh, that was the one I wanted, I was saving the best for last, but unfortunately, it kind of jumped before I even got there. All right, so we got our good list. Um, for all our new traders that are out there that are here, listen, I know a lot of you have appointments with us to talk to our instructors. Some of you have appointments with me. So I look forward to talking to you in the next two days. Listen, I'm just going to tell you right, right off the bat, um, trading's not for everybody. And you know what? If you really, if it's not for you, that's okay. But I know some of you might want to do it. And I might tell you, you might, we might not be the right program for you because we're not looking to just take your, you know, people taking your money and just trying to teach you 800 hours of videos. You know, we're here to kind of make you part of our team so we can trade together. Like just Ken just made, 20, you know, 24 cents on 2,000 shares on the stock. You know, there he is. He makes about 500 bucks. You know, market's not even open yet. That's what it's all about. And a lot of you, some of you probably already capitalized on that because that was one of the stocks that moved this morning at 9 o'clock this morning. So uh, that's what it's all about. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for traders that can contribute content, that are going to be good listeners, that are going to be, that, that want to really take this seriously and be part of a team, not, you know, part of, you know, their own self-ego, I hate to say it. Good luck, everyone. I'll see you in class. And um, don't forget, like I said, if we see something, say something. If we see any other new stocks, we'll go out there and share. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading today. I'll see the rest of you in class.